Daily Minutes nummer 1504 met een uitzending van vandaag 22 december 2018. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be for a large part in English, but we will start with some Dutch. Ik had het gisteren over de Nieuw-Zeelandse NBTV-experimenten. Ik heb inmiddels een paar dingen geprobeerd, maar zaken werken niet allemaal goed. Het zou kunnen dat dat is omdat ik nu de experimenten onder Linux heb gedaan met Wine. Het betreft programma's die voor Windows zijn. Gewoonlijk is dat echt geen probleem. En ik heb ook diverse programma's van dezelfde makers onder Linux draaien met Wine. En dat werkt gewoon perfect. Um, dus misschien is er wat anders aan de hand. De programma's voor analoge en de digitale variant die werken dus niet op een bruikbare manier. Die voor een hybride variant wel. En daar heb ik dus vanmiddag wat mee geëxperimenteerd. Eerst wat opvalt is dat er meerdere demo filmpjes bij zitten. Met signalen die daadwerkelijk van amateurbanden zijn opgenomen. Dus is uh, de, de, de matige kwaliteit van het analoge systeem dat springt meteen in het oog en een onverwacht goede kwaliteit van met name het digitale, maar ook van het hybride systeem. Ik wil eigenlijk wel beweren dat ik denk dat de kwaliteit van het eindresultaat waarschijnlijk een stuk beter is dan bij SSTV. Een plaatje van 12 seconden in de digitale variant is in elk geval een stuk strakker en beter dan een PD50 plaatje in SSTV. Zij heeft dat het plaatje in deze variant wel wat minder detail heeft. Maar goed, het is wel verrassend omdat ik er toch ook wat van in de uitzending wilde laten horen, heb ik het plaatje van gisteren, of eigenlijk van eergisteren, maar ook van gisteren, uh, telkens herhaald uitgezonden in de hybride variant op het eind van deze uitzending. Uh, dus ongeveer 35 seconden lang. Om het te decoderen moet je de software voor de hybride versie op de site downloaden. Dat is het zip bestand. Als je de meest rechtse optie van de site kiest, je krijgt dan een nieuwe pagina voor de hybride variant. En onderaan staan er wat demo filmpjes en een zip bestand. Het programma dat je uit de zip file moet hebben, dat heet RXNBTV 128x96. RX. Rx voor ontvangen en BTV 128 keer 96. Je kunt het gewoon ergens op je pc zetten en dan opstarten. Uh, het is een extra bestand. Ik zie bij mij het plaatje meerdere keren boven elkaar in verschillende groottes, verschillende hoogtes. Ik ben er nog niet achter waardoor dit komt of ik zelf iets verkeerd heb ingesteld of dat het iets anders is. Uh, ik heb ook een filmpje gemaakt van mijn beeldscherm van 10 seconden of zo. Dat zal ik straks uh, tegelijk met de uitzending op YouTube zetten zodat je kunt zien hoe het er bij mij uitziet. Ook mocht je het programma niet zelf uitproberen. Wat je op de achtergrond hoort is PI3XTV die even vertelde uh, dat het uh, kwart voor zeven is. Um, ik zal de komende tijd er in ieder geval vaker naar kijken en proberen het op een bruikbare manier om de praat te krijgen. Schroom niet om zelf ook te experimenteren. Twee weten meer dan één en drie weten nog veel meer. Dus hoe eerder we resultaat hebben. Hallo, dit is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, en welkom to the TX News podcast of the GB2RS National News for Sunday, the 23rd of December 2018, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. The news headlines this week, final GB2RS of the year, last chances to work GB18 Yota, and worked all Britain turns 50. So this is the final GB2RS news reading for 2018 and we start with seasonal greetings to all news readers and listeners both over the air and via the internet recordings and not forgetting viewers of the ATV broadcast which is available via several repeaters and kindly streamed via the BATC.TV website as well as those that get the news via TX Factor or other podcasts. We'd like to take this opportunity to once again thank all those that read the news in in whatever format for their tireless dedication to their fellow amateurs. There will be no formal reading on the 30th of December. Normal broadcasts will resume on Sunday, the 6th of January 2019. Youngsters on the Air Month, or Yota, runs throughout December. Jamie Mike Zero Sierra Delta Victor will operate the station on the 28th and the 29th of December. On the 30th, it's the turn of Telford and District ARS from the second Wellington Scout HQ. Now, if you hear these stations and others around the world taking part in Yota Month, please take the time to contact the young people who are involved.
2019 marks the 50th anniversary of the Work to All Britain Awards Group, and to mark the occasion, three new awards will be introduced for 2019 only. In conjunction with the new awards, Golf Bravo 50 WAB will run throughout the year, along with a number of other regional special event stations. This commences on the 1st of January with GB50 WAB for two weeks from C62 in Northern Ireland and GB9 WAB for four weeks from SK51 in Leicestershire. If you'd like some more information, keep an eye on the website at worked-all-britain.org.uk. You can now read online the responses from the RSGB and other interested groups and individual amateurs to Ofcom's consultation UK preparations for the World Radio Communication Conference 2019. If you'd like to take a little look, go over to tinyurl.com slash yankee8papacharliealphaxray46 for all the details. As mentioned last week, Sweden's Alexanderson alternator station, SAQ, is planning a Christmas Eve transmission on 17.2 kHz. Tuning up will start around 0730 UTC and a message will be transmitted at 0800 UTC. The event will also be streamed live on the Anderson YouTube channel and two amateur radio stations calling Sierra Kilo 6, Sierra Alpha Quebec will be active on the 24th on 7.035 and 14.035 MHz CW as well as 3.755 SSB. Two more 2018 RSGB convention videos are now available to members on the RSGB website. Popular convention speaker Jim Bacon, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha, delivered his talk on Sporadic E Revisited. Is it any clearer? Roger Ballister, Golf 3 Kilo Mike Alpha, speaks about islands on the air matters with the announcement of the new IOTA groups and the untold IOTA story. Go over to the RSGB website at rsgb.org slash videos and you can check all these out up there. The RSGB National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park will be closed on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and New Year's Day. It'll also be closed for a private event on Tuesday the 15th of January. Outside of these times, volunteers look forward to welcoming visitors seven days a week, especially RSGB members who can download a free entry voucher for Bletchley Park direct from the RSGB website. RSGB HQ is closed for the Christmas and New Year period from 4.30pm on Friday the 21st of December. It opens again at 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday the 2nd of January. In the meantime though, if you need information about amateur radio, exams or RADCOM, you'll find lots of information up on the website at rsgb.org. The IARU has announced the next annual Youngsters on the Air summer camp will take place in Bulgaria, close to the capital city Sofia. The Bulgarian Federation of Radio Amateurs will be hosting the event and the RSGB plan to send a team to the event and applications for the UK team leader and team members will be invited in due course. And finally, in headline news, Worked All Postcodes is an award scheme announced by the radio dealer Moonraker. Participants need to work as many postcodes as possible using a maximum of 10 watts on any mode on the 70, 144, 430 and 1296 MHz bands. Wednesday will be activity nights and awards will be available for different numbers of postcodes. It all starts on the 2nd of January 2019, so keep your eyes on on the Moonraker blog for more information. Next up, it's the details of rallies and events for the coming week. Well, it's pretty quiet, as you might expect, but on the 28th of December, the Yeovil ARC Tabletop Rally takes place in Sparkford Village Hall on Church Road in Sparkford, the postcode Bravo Alpha 22, 7 Juliet November. There's off-road car parking and the entrance fee is £2. Doors open at 10 in the morning through till 3 in the afternoon and light refreshments will be available on the day. If you want more information, get in touch with Bob Harris Golf 8 Uniform Echo Delta on his landline, which is 01963 440 167. 
Now, should you happen to be in India at the end of the year, Hamfest India runs on the 29th and the 30th of December in association with the Riva University in Bangalore. It's the largest gathering and festival of amateur radio operators in India. If you'd like some more information, check their website at Hamfest India 2018, all one word, hamfestindia2018.com. And don't forget to get your event into Radcom, onto GB2RS, and on the R. RSGB website. Get yourselves ready for 2019 and send your details in as early as possible via email to radcom at rsgb.org.uk. And we need to know about four months in advance to get into the Radcom magazine. Moving on to the DX News now from 425 DX News and other sources. Between the 25th and the 29th of December, 4X-Ray 19 HNY Happy New Year will transmit from Jerusalem. 4X-Ray 2 Xmas will be on the air from Kappa Norm. And 4X-Ray 3 Xmas from Caesarea and 4X-Ray 9 Xmas from Latrun. You can QSL there via Logbook of the World and EQSL only. Chi 7 Lima 3 Papa Foxtrot Hotel will be active as Kilo Hotel Zero Tango Golf from Tinian in the Mariana Islands. That's Oscar Charlie 086 from the 26th of December to the 1st of January. She'll be operating CW and SSB on 160 to 20 metre bands. And if you get a contact, QSL direct to Juliet Lima 1 Uniform Tango Sierra. And look out for Juliet India 3 Delta Sierra Tango slash 6, Juliet Sierra 6 Romeo 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 slash 6, and Juliet Lima 3 Yankee Whiskey November slash 6, operating from Taniga Island, which is IOTA reference Alpha Sierra 032, from the 26th of December right through to the 7th of January. They'll be active on the 80 to 6 metre bands using SSB, CW, RTTY, FT8 and FM, and you can QSL via the Club Logs OQRS. Special events news now, and only one of those to tell you about this week. It's the Canadian National Parks and Historic Site on the Air Scheme, which launches on the 1st of January 2019. Check out the webpage at cnpota, cnpota.ca for details of activations and how to get involved. And if you've got special events, send your details in to radcom at rsgb.org.uk as early as you possibly can for free public on GB2RS, in the Radcom magazine and online as well. Just a reminder, UK special event stations must be open to the public so our free publicity can help make your efforts more widely known. Let's take a look at the festive contest news now. Well, there's a large number of contests and activity parties which take place over the next two weeks. Details here will be brief, and those taking part should check all the rules for details. Here we go. Deep breath time. The UK six-metre group Winter Marathon runs until the 31st of January using all modes on the 50 megahertz band. Between the 26th and the 29th of December, the Christmas cumulatives take place on the 50 to 432 MHz bands. The DARC Christmas contest, that runs from 0830 to 1100 UTC on the 26th, using CW and SSB on 3.5 to 7 MHz. And the Worked All Britain Christmas Party runs from the 26th of December through to the 6th of January, using all modes on all bands. Between 1500 UTC on the 29th and 1500 UTC on the 30th, the Stu Perry Top Band Challenge uses CW only. New Year's Day sees several contests. The 144 MHz FMAC runs from 1900 to 1955 UTC. The 144 MHz machine-generated Morse code contest also runs at the same time. And the 144 MHz UKAC follows it at 2000 to 2230. Also on the 1st, the IRTS 80 Metres Counties Contest runs from 1500 to 1700 UTC using SSB and CW. And the UK EICC 80 Metre SSB Contest is on the 2nd of January from 2000 to 2100 UTC. Just a few more now. The ARRL Ritty Roundup starts at 1800 UTC on the 5th. 
and it runs until 23.59 on 6th of January. It's data only, by the way, on the 3.5 to 28 megahertz bands. The RSGB's CWAFS contest runs from 1300 to 1700 on the 5th using just the 3.5 and 7 megahertz band. And the EUCW 160 meter CW party runs 2000 to 2300 UTC on the 5th. And finally, the EUCW 160m CW Party has its second session from 0400 to 0700 UTC on the 6th of January. So plenty of stuff to get yourself involved in over the Christmas and New Year period. Let's look at the radio propagation report now. It's compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 21st of December. As this report will take you up to Sunday the 6th of January 2019, we can't guarantee complete accuracy, but we'll try to predict conditions for the Christmas period. The solar flux index is pretty easy as it looks like it will remain at our near sunspot minimum like conditions. The SFI will be in the range of 69 to 72 with no real surprises. Geomagnetic conditions will be in general pretty settled although NOAA predicts an elevated K index due to coronal holes around the 29th and the 30th and again on the 3rd to the 6th. Now we may expect some winter sporadic E with reports of 10 metre short skip openings to Europe being received already. Otherwise it's a bit of a time for low band openings with the winter solstice giving us the long dark nights that favour 160 and 80 metre propagation. 40 metres can often also throw up some choice DX especially late in the afternoon. We've just heard that Oscar Foxtrot 9 X-Ray is on from Finland again over Christmas, featuring three operators aged 18 or under. According to Predtest.uk, 20 metres and 30 metres may be optimum for a contact during the day, moving to 80 metres at night time. And finally, a reminder that Santa Claus and his ham radio elves are on from Romania and are fielding the largest team of activators in all the districts of YO. All you've got to do is contact at least three different YP Xmas call signs and they'll be able to issue an electronic award directly from the man himself. It is only Santa Claus. How good a QSL card would that be? HF propagation to Romania is optimum on 20 metres during the day, but it does fall back at night. 40 metres or more likely 80 metres will probably be the best bands for contacts after dark. Let's look at the VHF and upwards propagation news now. It looks like tropo for Christmas, or because of a large high that will develop over the country from Christmas Eve onwards. This will bring a temperature inversion, which is good for tropo, and it will cover a large part of the UK and the continent. The temperature inversion changes the refractive index of the air over a short vertical distance and leads to a duct forming that can cause signals to travel long distances with low degradation in signal strength. Unlike sporadic E, which is a rapid transient propagation mode, Tropo is capable of providing long-lasting openings. So, if Santa has bought you a new VHF UHF radio for Christmas, you could be in for a double treat with lots of activity to add those new squares in your logbook. The short but intense Quadrantids meteor shower peaks around 0200 hours on the 4th of January, so you will need to be a night owl to hit the peak zenithal hourly rate of 80. The moon reaches maximum declination on Sunday and perigee on Monday, so it is a good week for EME. And as a matter of interest, there is the talk of a possible sudden stratospheric warming event later this month, when the winds in the stratosphere change dramatically over a day or so. This can lead to colder weather about two weeks later. Additionally, this time in the wind regime in the stratosphere may become part of an out-of-season pattern, which can favour winter sporadic E. It's always worth a check over the Christmas and New Year period for short skip, on the 10 meter and 6 meter bands for openings. And that is it for the propagation team for the whole of this year. And that's all we've got for your GB2RS national news for the whole of this year for the UK from around the world this week. Don't forget the very last regional GB2RS news broadcast will be on the air near you this Sunday. 
And all GB2RS newsreaders will be back on the air on the 6th of January with the very first broadcast of the new year. So it only remains for me to wish you all season's greetings and a very healthy, happy Good DX in 2019 from myself, Mike Marsh, Bob McCready, Nick Bennett and Pete Sipple and all of the TX Factor crew. I'm Mike Marsh, G1 IAR, reporting with the TX News Weekly Podcast of GB2RS. Thanks for listening. We will be back here in 2019 with all the very latest updates of GB2RS News. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl Oh, no,